Hey everybody, this is Brian and this is our sixth cute video with C++. Today we're going to be going over some more GUI elements. So let's just go File, New, and we're going to say Cute C++ GUI Project. And say My GUI. And let's go Test. And for this tutorial, let's actually just select Q Dialog instead of Q Main Window. Now some of you are probably going, okay, why did you just select Q Dialog instead of Q Main Window? Well, I didn't want the uh, the UI elements like the toolbar and menu bar to really get in the way. Um, I just want to focus on a very simple dialog. I want to show you a few tricks. So over here on the left, these are your widgets. You can either scroll down and pick the one you want, or you can just start typing in the name and it'll auto filter it. For example, here's label. We want a uh, line edit and a button. Actually, let's just grab a couple buttons here. And you drag and drop and just place them wherever you want them on the form. Now, this is all kind of haphazard and it looks really hokey. And I should back up and say I'm also assuming that you know what these are. Uh, a label just displays text, line it allows you to type it in, and buttons you push them. And you can actually, you know, double click the button and fill in the text. So we're going to say this dialog just simply wants your name. Well, let's make this a little prettier. And that's where layouts come in. Select the label and line edit, and then you have these layouts up here. That's what these buttons are. Go ahead and select the horizontal, or you can press just Control H, and it'll lay that out. And then select your buttons, and same thing. Notice how it lines them up, snaps them together. And then select the form, and or I'm sorry, select the dialog, and you can see you can still do even further. So select the vertical layout. Now what that does is it lays them out nice and neat. The reason why you would do this is simple. Um, Qt is cross-platform. The way it's rendered in, in Windows is different than it's rendered in Linux and Unix, Solaris, I mean, on and on and on and on. So you use layouts. That way the code will automatically move and resize the widgets as needed per the operating system that it's being compiled and run on. Um, another little thing I should show you is a spacer. Let's say we want these buttons over to the right, just take a horizontal spacer and drop it in, and it automatically moves and pads it. Now, you may be wondering, how do these controls know how to do all this? Well, you click a button here, and you see this little thing called size policy. Well, that's going to be kind of your homework, is to play around with the size policy and learn some of these things. But you can set like a minimum size, a maximum size, a base size, and the size policy. All right. Now, let's just resize this a little bit more. You've worked with edit widgets. You've worked with signals and slots. Let's actually just create a signal slot and we'll say cancel and we're going to do mm -hmm, clicked show and we're going to say close. And for the OK button, clicked and we're going to say accept. That is how you would determine whether the dialog is just closed or accepted. Then you have these other buttons, like this one, Edit Buddies. What are buddies? A lot of people don't really understand buddies and what they do. Um, what a buddy does is allows one control to accept the input for another control. So let's just say Name Label and select that to the Line Edit. And what that does is if the label had focus, uh, for example, if you had a uh, uh, underscore under the N, so control N, it would automatically set the focus to this line edit. A lot of people don't really understand that. It's not very well used. And the tab order, this discusses the tab order, and you can just click these around and you know do what you want to do with them. Just double click it, so like change the order. So we want OK to be 1, we want uh, cancel be 2, and that to be 3. Now let's play around with this. Let's say we want that to be 1, this to be 2, that to be 3. 
and you can see how you can very quickly and graphically change the tab order. And you can set all that programmatically too. Alright, select the Edit Widgets or F3 and let's save our work and run it. And let's look at our beautiful little dialog in all its glory. You notice how it's automatically set to the line edit. We hit tab, it goes to the button. Tab again, it goes to cancel. Tab again, it goes up here. And if you hit either one of these buttons, it'll close the form. This one just closes it. This one accepts and close. So that, in a nutshell, is widgets, tab orders, and buddies. Now you should know you can do all this programmatically. And if you look over in the Object Explorer here, let me actually expand this out a little bit. You can see how it's actually filled all these in for you. So you don't have to do it through code. But you can actually go in and use like a Q horizontal layout and Q vertical layout and Q grid layout. We'll go over those in other tutorials. But I wanted to show you how to very quickly and rapidly graphically build a GUI application. Uh, another thing you should note is that you can right click on a control and go to go to slot and that brings up the signal slots mechanism so let's say we want to uh, when this thing's clicked we want to do something and then you would just modify the code for whatever you want to do well once again this is Brian thank you for watching I hope you found this video educational and entertaining